welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Boston Red Sox taking on the Houston Astros. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Well, Singy, this ballpark still among the game's best. When the roof is open, it feels like an outdoor ballpark. And then you have the shade and the cool when the roof is closed. Yeah, and formerly Towles Hill out there in center. You still have the Crawford boxes in left, a unique setback in left center field, which causes the left fielders to have to play differently. But there is a lot of character to this place. First pitch coming your way next. So almost ready to get underway and on the hill in this one, you say Kikuchi. Chris, he's got the ability to take control of a game when he's out there. Well, incredible mound presence, and he's going to attack hitters. Look at that strikeout per nine ratio over 10 coming into this start. So he's a pitcher that wants the ball. He's aggressive. He knows that he can get the swing and miss, especially when he needs it most. We'll see how effective he is in this one. Next pitch downstairs. One and one. And a swing to miss. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. The line of the pitch. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. That's off the mark. Ball two. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Go to first. In time to get him. One away in the strikeout. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. And now, will you Abreu? There's the strike. Kikuchi. Not a big strikeout guy, but still very effective as far as starting pitchers go. One of those guys that involves the defense and really gets him involved in the action. To the right side, Dubon. Over to first. Oh. That's it out. That as we check out the lineup for the Boston Red Sox, one of the more high-powered lineups in the game right now, it's built to do damage, and they got some hitters that could punish the baseball, Chris. So fun to watch these players take their at bats. I mean, they're so disciplined. Don't give not just at bats away, but really pitches away. Very aggressive, competitive in the zone. And when they connect, there's usually some loud noise to it. So we'll keep our ears open today. Base hit, and that keeps the inning going. This lefty matchup thing's not going so well. He that moves the ball it. around the all the here. quadrants of the strike oh, yeah, zone yeah. and will add and subtract yeah, yeah. velocity. And because of that, he gets the weak contact. It's all about missing the barrel of the bat. Devers now. That oh. misses the zone. Ball yep, one. one it seems like this type of guy is kind of a dying breed nowadays. Well, exactly. When teams are looking for high velocity, high strikeout rates, guy like this doesn't necessarily do that so in order to really appreciate how good he is you have to see him because if you're just looking at a stat sheet you might overlook him falling behind two and one Casas leads off first with two down to the inning here's a guy at the plate I'm expecting to have a good game he always seems to play better in road games the pitch Count three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Pets and misses. It's a strikeout. And the Red Sox leave one. And now the Astros go to work for the first time. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show.
Back here in Houston, pitching in our game today, Cutter Crawford. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel different between the open mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. Jose Altuve stands in now and watches strike one. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Ground off the middle. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too that good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Next to hit for Houston, Jeremy Pena. Hey. Strike. Right-hander kicks deals. Ball one. One ball, two strikes. Now. Three. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Well, I'd say he pretty much had to offer it that one. You don't want to leave it in the umpire's hands. Even though it ended up outside the zone, it still was close enough to where it looked like it could drop nope. down right on that corner and get the call. Last thing you want to do is get punched out by the umpire knowing you could have at least fouled the pitch off and kept the back going. At the belt, the finals. Oh, that's out. Is the top part of the zone and a count two and one. Now Tuve runs. Cut on and miss. Bro, and they got him. Well, I think that was a hit and run right there. When you look at how far that pitch was out of the zone and the hitter still trying to put wood on it, put it in play, that tells you that they had something going. But unfortunately, it was a good job of execution by the pitcher and the catcher to get that out of the zone and then throw out the runner at second base. Really nice job behind the dish. Two outs, base is empty. Hater deals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Goes down looking. We played an inning. No score. Second inning set to go. Now it's going to be Tyler O'Neill. Kikuchi back to work. That's in there. Strike one. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. Now the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. And that one fouled off.
Here comes a pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. No score here in the second. And takes low for ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Ground ball could be two. Touches the back for one, and that's two. Good 6 3 double play right there. Takes it himself. And it's a nice job to work closer to getting out of this inning. So stepping in for Boston, Connor Wong. And a swing and a miss there. 0 oh 1. Strike two. Spin rate's outstanding on that high no fastball. Really tough to hit. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Bottom of the second. And stepping in for the Astros, Jake Myers. And a pitch. Fall off foul. 0 1 now. Carl Dixon doing the umpiring behind the plate. And boom, I'm not sure if it's because he sort of sets up higher than most, but one thing to be aware of with Dixon is the high strike. Not usually a big deal because most players are swinging at pitches up there, but we may see some surprise looks from hitters from time to time because. That's just so unusual. Bounce to the left side, and it goes just foul. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. The line, the kick, and the one-two. Stays alive. Pitch in the dirt, and the count is two and two. In the air, right field. Abreu calls it in, and there's one away. Here's the rookie third baseman, Shea Whitcomb. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Base is empty. That misses the zone, and the count is three and one. Three ball, one frame. And that's in for a strike. Swinging for the strikeout. 
couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. He had him out in front, which isn't Not easy to do against a hitter like this, no, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't Good. sit back long well enough on that one. Zach DeZenzo digs in now. First pitch misses. Two outs. Just yep, missed. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Two down, nobody on. And he grounds one to the right side. Fires over to first. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. One, two, three, go the Astros. We'll move to the third with no score. Top half of the third inning, and the batter will be the shortstop. Sidane Rafaela. Rafaela. And a pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Rafaela getting to start at shortstop. 23 years old. And he's a native of Curacao. The shortstop takes a ball. That two one misses. One and it's two and one. Foul ball there. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Kicks and deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pitch. I can't lose ball. Got him looking as the fastball runs back over the inside corner. Really good battle right there. That final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. And stepping in is the speedy David Hamilton. This one in the air. Settles under this one. Calls it in two away. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Duran in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Top of the third, no score. Here's the 0-2. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Nothing doing for Boston. Still no score. And we're back. Leading, Leading off, off Mauricio Dubon. The second base. Mauricio Dubon. Crawford back to work. Right through there for a strike. Skips in the dirt. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0 2 count. Right. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Up the middle. Whips it to He's Casas. Out. Lead off man retired here in the third. Batting it. No left. Yeah. Yeah. So More next up for Houston, Chaz McCormick. A 
A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. All one's the count. Late with the swing there. That fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Foul ball still 0 and 2. One down, base is empty. That's a ball. On the ground, right side. Whips it to Casas. And that quickly, two away. Batting up. The right field. Pedro Leon up next for the Astros. And first offering is fouled off. And that's too high. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing there for Houston, and we're still knotted at zero. And welcome back to the ballpark as we go to the top of the fourth. And here is Willier Abreu. The wind of the pitch. And yeah. that's a little bit high. You know, these Red Sox just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Now, Dubon to first. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Now batting Tristan Casas. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. One down, base is empty. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Out to short, Pena. Two quick oh. outs here in the top of the four. Now have the third base. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. Struck out swinging his first time. Gets the slider in there for a strike. Ooh, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that. Could have a really good day oh, out there on the mound. And that's outside. And the count is one and one. Wouldn't chase that time. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. That one fouled off. Two and two. Two outs. This to third. The throw to first. And Devers is set down. Red Sox go one, two, three. So they go quietly there. We're midway in the fourth. No score. Back here in Houston, John Chami and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Jose Altuve. Altuve.
as he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. Yeah. Two way guy who loves the first pitch oh one. that time taking and it's nothing to want. Well these Astros as this game goes on have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone. We'll see but I think they have to. And they get out to Bay for the out. And there's one no away. Matter. Number three. Shortstop. Jeremy. Jeremy Pena up yeah. next for the Astros. Went down on strikes his first time through. There's a strike. Ball tied up. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Line drive. And that's down. A base hit. Now got it. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. One gone runner at first. And next to hit for Houston, Yainer Diaz. Hey in there at the knees for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. And a foul ball. Check on the runner. And hey. he's back in safely. pitch that one back up the middle and it gets through they fired in quickly so it's first and second with only one away a couple of singles back to back once you get the ball by the pitcher there's a lot of base hits up the middle even on ground balls so a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game next to hit Jake Myers And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Two on, one out. Foul off down the right side. Righty to the plate. Up and in. Two balls and a strike. Kicks and fires. And another ball. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. And that'll oh, load the bases. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Bull. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. So bases loaded with one away. Shane Whitcomb now at the plate. Golden opportunity right here. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Brings it in. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. And stepping in for the Astros, Zach Vizenzo. He's over one. That's down and in. Ball one, no strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs, bases are full. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. One ball, two strikes. Good job to fight that one off. One, two now. And oh, another ball. They tried to get him to go. <laughs> Chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Oh. 
Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Swing and a miss struck him out. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Back here in he's Houston, stepping in the long he's ball, Brett Tyler O'Neill. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. You know, these Red Sox just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. And that is cut on and miss. And that is strike two. And that one upstairs. Pitch misses, and the count is filled up. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Here's the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. And that's in there for strike one. Bases empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Next ball, offering away break. upstairs. On, Check swing, did he go? Yes, he did. One ball, two strikes. Swings and misses, struck him out. Really nice job working both sides of the plate for that strikeout. Started him up inside, then away, back inside again, and that one set him up for that last pitch on the outside part of the plate that he just swung right through. Pretty smooth sequence right there. And now the catcher comes up to him. Connor Wong. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And that gets down into the gap. Around first, heading for two. He's there. It's a two-out double. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. Go ahead, run on base. Sidane Rafaela up next for the Red Sox. Nope. First pitch, just misses. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. That's smacked on a line to center. That's a base hit. Here comes the runner. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. one nothing. Well, he gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. So impressive that he didn't get tied up or jammed on that pitch inside. Instead, good quick hands allowed him to get the barrel to it, just shoot it up the middle of the field for that knock. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now at the plate, David Hamilton fouled off to the right. Here comes the 0-1. Lifted in the air, out to left. McCormick makes the play, and that is that. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And the home team down a run. Back after this on the show. Back here at Minute Maid Park, we head to the bottom of the fifth. The and stepping in for the Astros, Mauricio Dubon. The right-hander back to work. 
just oh, off the back. inside edge. On the ground to the left. Down the line, and it's foul. The one, two. Keeps the event going with a foul ball. And here it comes. Fights that one away, still one and two. And oh, another ball. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. The 2 2. Gets a piece and stays alive. The wind of the pitch. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. And the pitch. Out to short. Rafaela. Fires across oh. the diamond. So they get the out after a long battle at the plate. The left fielder, number 20. So next up for Houston, Chaz McCormick. 0 for 1 so far. High fly ball, right field. Abreu gets under it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. The right fielder, number four, Pedro. And now the right fielder, Pedro Leon. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And One that's out. in the dirt. Home team down a run. Last half of inning number five. Ground ball up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. No throw, and they don't get the out. Now, the designated hitter. So the Houston lineup turns over. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. In the dirt. And the runner stays where he is. Two outs. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. Yoshida sizing this one up. And the inning is over. So they've been held scoreless through five. It's the Red Sox one and the Astros nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now batting Jaron Duran. Jaron Duran. As the lefty gets to work, Duran in his second season, 27 years old, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2018. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. And downstairs. It's a good take. Two. And that's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. Could have let that pitch get a little deeper into the zone and tried to go the other way with it. Got it off the end a little bit, but found a hole up the middle. Stepping in for Boston, Willier Abreu. This one popped up. 
Makes the catch for the end. What a way. How about the first baseman? First baseman. Ha ha. So up next, Tristan Casas. One for two. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, boo. One Next one. offering is down low. Left hand batter waits. That one way outside. Now two balls and a strike. Back to back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Left hand hitter waits. Swings hey. through that one out in front that time. Feel the chase up right there. Just pulled the string. Well struck left field. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Here's Rafael Devers. To second, and he's out. That ends the frame. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Two, three, four due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Red Sox one and the Astros nothing. Back here in Houston, go, bottom go, of the sixth. And stepping in for the go, Astros, go, go. Jeremy Pena. Go, go, go. The pitch. Go, go. Well, that one cutting but missing down low. And this is inside. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The count two and one. Now it's belted. Deep to left. Way out of here. This is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. So, Singy, this is a little bit of a surprise. A guy known for line drives hits one over the fence. Well, if you're a little too early, you'll get some elevation in the ball and get out of the ballpark. For him, it's kind of a mistake. But you know what? When you have such a good approach, every now and then you're going to run into one. Diaz at the plate and takes high there. Well, these Astros, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Outside low, now 2-0. That one fouled off. Oh, you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Nobody on, nobody out with a run in here in the bottom of the sixth. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Two two now. Base here. Number six. Jake Myers up next for the Astros. He's all for one. Right through there for a strike.
Nobody out. Runner at first. Grounder might be two. Feed to second. That's one. Back to first. And that is a double play. To me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play. And then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Shea Whitcomb up next for the Astros. That's nope. inside. That's inside. Two down, nobody on. Swings through that. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. That's to third, Devers. Slings it across. That's the third out. Inning over. Solo homer ties it for the Strohs. All even now at 1-1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. And here is Devers. This lineup is having a tough time finding a good rhythm at the plate. Their swings are disjointed, which tells me they're having issues with pitch recognition. Activity in the bullpen for Houston. Ronel Blanco up and throwing. Martinez getting cranked up as well. And it's strike two. This game has been so tight. It feels like the next team to score will win it. And that one is lifted in the air in position. He's there. He's got it. And there's one down. Now Here's Tyler O'Neill. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. Hit hard on the ground is short. And O'Neill is retired. And next for the Red Sox, Masataka Yoshida. A little nope. bit low. And that's off inside. the inside edge. And the count is 2-0. and oh. Swing and a miss. Two, ball. Two down, ball. nobody on. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Well, pretty clear to me, he's trying to go deep right there. But you've got to get a pitch that you can handle. Next offering misses, and the count's full. Connor Wong to bat next. Two outs. Out there to center. Myers pulls it in to end the inning. Nick Pavetta will take over here. Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. Leading off. And here's the first baseman, Zach Dezenzo. And he deals. A little bit high, maybe. Ball one. And another ball. 
Right. That oh, one misses. Time. Ball three. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Ball well, can be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but oh, you've oh, got to find a way right. to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. The hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has something to worry about over at first. Here's Mauricio Dubon. Oh. And there's the strike. Boston's bullpen with some activity. Josh Winkowski preparing to come on if needed. With the go-ahead run at first, here at the bottom of the seventh. And fouled off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Righty delivers. Three. Chases that one out of the zone. Now one away. Now back. Left Chaz McCormick yeah. up next for the Astros. Corbett. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. First pitch swinging. Oh, and one. one away. Tie game. Go ahead run stands at first. Pavetta throws over he's and he's back in on a dive. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Curveball ball drops in there. That's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation run on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. That one down the line, and that's just foul. And he'll two. And One there's ball. a ball. Two One away. Tie game. Go ahead run. Stands at first. And the yep. curve is down and in. Man, oh man. Two I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Three. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Number uncle four. Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Pedro Leon up next for the Astros. Ball. In the dirt, blocked, one, but no, no advance. Three. That's ball one. And the righty deals. Wouldn't three. chase that time. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great oh, spot for a hitter to be in. Jose Altuve waiting to hit for Houston. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. And that one oh. off the inside Thanks, edge. You walked him. Well, that could be a big walk in this ball okay. game. Okay. Moves the go-ahead run in the scoring good. position. So, okay. so pressure pitch is coming up oh, in this next okay. AD. So the batting order turns over. Jose Altuve up to it here. One for three. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can. That's hit in the line. Fair ball. Now it rolls down into the corner. One runs in. Now it goes home. In there, he's safe, and they lead by two. Well, there you go, the RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Luis Garcia gets handed the rock out of the pen. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year, so the defense should be active. And next to hit for Houston, Jeremy Pena. He's already homered here in this one. Yeah. Edge of the zone for a strike. It's 0-1. Now 
Man on second, two down. Pitch misses. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. The shortstop takes the ball. Altuve on its second with two down. Bounced up the middle, and that chance handled. Inning over, and it could have been worse. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. And this is now a three-one ball game. You're dialed into the show. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Taylor Scott. Well, good luck now, against this guy. He's been extremely tough to hit this year. His numbers are excellent. And now it's the catcher for the Red Sox, Connor Wong. Connor Wong. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Whitcomb drifts towards it. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. And he'll take first easily after the strikeout. <laughs> I feel like that's one of those rules in baseball that's tough to explain the logic behind if you're talking to a new fan or someone trying to learn the game. It's like, wait, what? The batter struck out, but he still gets to be on first base? Yeah, I hear you. It's a weird one. Plus, the pitcher gets credit for the strikeout. It's an over for the batter. But, of course, no out is actually recorded. Kind of one of those, just trust me, let's move on situations. With the tying run at the plate, and we're in the top of the eighth. Next pitch misses outside, and the count even one and one. Tying run at the plate, run around the move, slides, but he can't come up with it. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. So runners at the corners, nobody out. So stepping in for Boston, David Hamilton. That's in there. Strike one. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Right-hander kicks deals. Way one. outside, and it's a ball and a strike. to stay back just a tad bit longer and he hit the ball on the screws and now the center fielder Jaron Duran known for his late inning heroics maybe a two ball five four three and they turn the double play that's a much needed double play right there it gives him a really good shot at minimizing any further damage in this inning Abreu up next for the Red Sox. And that is in for a strike. And it's 0-1.
the tying run is 90 feet away. Chase his way now to appeal the third. And he went around just enough that time. Right-handed reliever. One ball. Two Skips in and excellent work to corral that one. Could have been dangerous. Chopped to the ground. Now the throw to first on the run. Not in time, and he reaches safely. A nice job getting there. Good for all, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. Ronel Blanco taking over on the mound. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries now, to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. Ronel Blanco. So digging in, Tristan Casas. And that's outside. 1 and 0. Oh. At the belt and fires. Here goes the runner. Throw to second. Throw to second. That ends the inning. The catcher definitely looked ready for that stolen base attempt. Got in position quickly and a strike down to second base to end the inning. Back here in Houston, out of the bottom of the eighth. At the plate Here's is the go. Astros go. catcher, Yainer Diaz. The catcher. Pitch. And they're at the knees. That's strike one. Oh, Some hitters right are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0 1. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. And a pitch. Got him swinging. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get out. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. Here's the center fielder, Jake Myers. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Tied up here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. One they tried ball. to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Up the middle, and that one handled, and oh. that quickly two away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. So two down now, and here is Shea Whitcomb. over for three. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Right through there for a strike. Just 
swing and a miss at one above the zone. One ball. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult Whoa, to hit. Inside. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Boom, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Fly ball center field coming on. Got it. Really had to move for that catch. And that is the inning. It's the ninth, and we are tied. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now here is Tristan Casas. The first baseman. And the pitch. In the air, right center. This is mashed way back and gone. A gigantic blast. His seventh home run of the season. And they jump in front in the ninth. It's 4-3. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Now it's Devers at the plate. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Blanco goes six feet, three inches. He features a slider, a four-seamer, a changeup, and occasionally mixes in the slur. The other way, and he beats the shift. Now just that, a simple ground ball the other way that had right, eyes right. on it, man. Sometimes that's all oh, you need oh. to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Man, at first, Tyler O'Neill will hit next. And hey. that's in there at the knees. And a swing and a miss. Other thing in this part, oh, I mean, he could right. sneeze one over the left field wall into those Crawford box seats. And a swing and a miss. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Masataka Yoshida, the next to hit. Masataka Yoshida. And a foul ball. Swing and a miss as he was late. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. That misses. And a count one and two. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Hit on the ground to the right side. And foul ball. And a pitch. And another ball. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. This is just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Next offering popped in the air, right field. 
Leon makes the grab. Two down. Now that Here's the catcher, Connor Wong. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, and one. oh that's that oh, slump right down. there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Fouled off left side. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Just misses with that one. Tough to take a two strike change up that just missed. I think it froze it. And now the count is even. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2 2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. That one misses. Full count now. Two outs. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. The Red Sox pick up a run on the homer. It's now a 4-3 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Kenley Jansen. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. Well, one run game. And now the first baseman, Zach Vizenzo. The pitch. And that one hit 97 on the gun. This is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. Looking to get the tying run on base. Oh. That just one misses. Out. And one and one. Here's a swing and a miss. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. One run game, bottom nine. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hole that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Duvall in the box with one away as he takes ball one. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound, he's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clipped the corner. The pitch at the ball. Trying to close out a one run lead. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. One down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now the Astros are down to their final out. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and then this is going to go quickly, but you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. So it's their last chance in this one. Next to hit, Chaz McCormick. First oh, pitch, and he just misses. And 
That one fouled off. Two down, nobody on. And a count one and two. One strike away. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Righty to the plate. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Oh, man. That stays fair. We got a new ball game. Great swing. Just couldn't keep it between the lines. He's got to try to bottle that. Do it again. Kicks and fires. Not Good even ball. close Good there. Ball. And the count is even two and two. A one run lead. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Foul ball. Another 2 2 upcoming. thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't move on either. Got him! And that's the ball game. Well, you take a tie ball game into the ninth on the road, you know that you've got some work to do. you got to score, but then you've also got to get three outs in the bottom half of that inning. They did just that today. Very well played ball game. Get this win on the road. Everybody's happy with the W. 4-3, our final score. Kenley Jansen picking up the save for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chauvey. Thanks for joining us.